In 1871, while Utah was still just a territory struggling towards statehood, Japan was going through a transformation of its own. The more than 250-year reign of the Tokugawa shogunate had come to a close, putting an end to the feudalist system that had marked Japan for centuries. In its place rose the Meiji Restoration, a movement that led to the advances of modern Japan, both socially and in style of government. In 1871, the new Japanese government sent a massive delegation to the United States to learn about our political, agricultural, and educational systems. Dubbed the Iwakura Mission, this group of more than 100 Japanese statesmen, samurai, scholars, and students set out across the sea to learn what they could about how to form the future of their country. They arrived in San Francisco and shortly set out east with the intention of stopping in Chicago on their way to Washington, D.C. Thanks to inclement weather, they arrived in Salt Lake City on February 3, 1872, and the weather kept this important delegation in the city for 19 days. There were welcomes and speeches from city officials and church leaders, and banquets and social events were thrown for these dignitaries. They even met with Brigham Young, which caused a bit of a row, as he was at the time under house arrest on federal murder charges for his part in the 1857 murder of a man named Richard Yates. After almost three weeks, the snow cleared from the pass enough for the Japanese delegation to continue their journey, but they left Salt Lake City as the longest stop on their mission. The residents of Salt Lake had an indelible impact on the Iwakura mission and helped, in some small way, shape the future of Japan.